Thanks, Nara. I know listening to me and Patrick argue for two hours isn't your idea of fun. I'm just glad you finally had the guts to end it with him. You're going to be so much happier now. I hope so. Oh, Hazy. You're going to be so much better off without him. Seriously. Come here. Why don't we go see Elijah's band tomorrow night? Maybe he can get us in for free. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks again, Nara. It's no problem. I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Yep. Time has had its way with me. A broken, tired hands. Mom? Dad? Daisy Foss. Who are you? We're with DHPD. That's Detective Howard. I'm Detective Falcone. I'm the one whose calls you keep refusing. I haven't felt much like talking. Can you spare a few minutes now? So what do you know about her involvement with the occult? What? The occult. Witchcraft. Satanism. Are you crazy? Nara wasn't involved with anything like that. According to this, she was. What's that? Her diary. I didn't know Nara kept a diary. I thought you two were best friends. Since sixth grade. Starts off normal enough. Then about the time she turned 16, she snapped. Started hearing voices. Seeing things, talking about demons, hell. This girl got involved in something, something I believe got her killed. Are you sure you don't know anything about all of this? This has to be a mistake. This can't be Nara's. It was in her bedroom. Her mother gave it to us as evidence. Detective Falcone, two teenagers just got attacked at Hidden Lake Harbor. Could be our guy. You're free to go. But we're not through yet. I'll have an officer take you home. I'll call a friend. Suit yourself.
thought he was joking. Or crazy. I told him Nara wasn't involved with anything like witchcraft. Can you believe anyone would even think that? You're not agreeing with me, Elijah. Why aren't you agreeing with me? Because maybe he was right. What? I never wanted to tell anyone about this, for her sake, but maybe now you should know. Do you remember last year, when me and Nara started getting really close? One night she was over, and fell asleep. She started getting really restless, like she was having a nightmare or something. I tried to wake her up, and that's when things got really weird. She totally freaked out. She started screaming strange things about evil and demons. She kept screaming for them to leave her alone. When she woke up, she acted like nothing had ever happened. Then, when she was leaving, she looked at me, and I could see it in her eyes that she was aware of everything that had happened. We didn't talk for, like, a month. And when we finally did, it just wasn't the same. I had to move on. You never knew any of this? I don't understand. Why wouldn't she have told me about it? Maybe it's in that diary the detective showed you. Maybe. Good night, Hazy. Thanks again, Elijah. See you tomorrow. Wake up. Come on, Hazy, wake up. Nara? Oh, Nara, I had this crazy nightmare that you were dead. And then these zombies attacked me, but you saved me. You came back from the dead, and you chopped them up with an axe. You're right. That would sound pretty crazy. If it wasn't true... Now come on, we gotta get out of here before more of those things find us. There's more? Lots more. <laughs>